Well, if you live in West Lincoln, you may want to listen up. Some of the waterways in your neighborhood could be contaminated with sewage. New at 10, Channel 8 Diabetes News reporter Joe Harris has been looking into it for us and has our story. Joe. Rod and Megan, residents tell us they had recently noticed a foul odor in the air, and the state tells us it's from a sewage overflow at a nearby prison. In recent weeks, residents living north of the Lincoln Correctional Center may have noticed a bad smell in their neighborhood. It just was really strong, and we could tell it was probably like some kind of sewer smell. It turns out it was a sewer smell, one coming from a sewage spill on the Lincoln Correctional Center's land on West Van Dorn. According to documents from the Nebraska Department of Environmental Quality, there were two blockages in the Correctional Center's sewer line causing it to overflow out of a manhole and dump into a nearby pond. The documents say the sewage spill stopped on January 18th, but that the sewage flowed north toward a creek and a neighborhood. Residents tell us they noticed a foul smell for days. Amber Richardson is a mother and babysitter who lives near a stream. It wasn't going away, so my husband and I went around the neighborhood to just try to see like where the smell was coming from, and we could really smell it really strong like near the waterways. The Nebraska Department of Environmental Quality says there likely won't be permanent impacts. As for short term, they say they're not sure and that they're waiting to get results from water samples the correction center took, but they say it could potentially harm humans if they ingest the water or swim in it. The good news is they don't think it could wind up in the tap water. Richardson says it's good to finally know where the smell was coming from and that it's gone, but that she hopes it doesn't happen again. This is a family neighborhood. It's calm and clean and, you know, we just want to keep it that way. And EQ says the Department of Corrections faces two violations, including for failing to keep a collection system cleared and for the spill impacting the smell and appearance of the water. Now, the Department of Corrections did respond to us late tonight. It says once the leak was found, several agencies were notified and work continues to correct it. They say the sewage never got into the Lincoln Correctional Center and that the discharge was limited to the grounds of the facility. You can read their full response on klkntv.com. Just click on the story. Joe Harris, uh, thank you for looking into this story for us tonight.